Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to install the Seagate Barracuda 4TB hard drive in my Dell PC. So this is a desktop PC and the installation will happen here. You see like my PC is a little bit crowded, so it will be a small challenge. But the most important thing in this video is that I'll be testing the speed and the performance of the Seagate Barracuda. So I'm going to use it as a storage device. And this is the box as I received it from Amazon. So this is here, the warranty information. It is very well protected, as you notice. And this is the drive. So this is the drive. Let me open it. So it doesn't come with screws, so I should provide some screws. I hope I have some screws so to install it. So thankfully I found some screws that I had. So let me install the hard drive physically. So you see these uh, screw holes here. They will go one here and one here. And then on this side of my PC, one will go here and one will go here. So this and this here. So it should be really tight because otherwise the hard drive will vibrate and it will make noise. So now it is tight. So now I'm gonna install the two screws here. So now the hard drive is secure. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect it. So now this is a hard drive installed and this is the SATA power and this is the SATA data. And I arranged the cables as much as I could. This is a small desktop and I do with what I have. So I'm gonna connect it now to the power and perform the test. So now that the drive is installed, let me initialize it. So I'm going to launch Disk Manager here to initialize it. So in the search box here, type Disk Man, and then select this one here, Create and Format Hard Disk. And it will ask you to initialize the disk. So simply click on OK here. And this is a disk here. So let me show you. And here you need to create a volume on it. So right click on it and then Click on new simple volume, click on next, keep everything by default, and then next, and keep it on NTFS. So here I'm going to call it Seagate Barracuda, and then I'm going to click on next, and finish. So now it is ready to be used. So now I'm going to start copying files on it, and we're going to see how fast it is. So what I have here is to my left, my Samsung one terabyte SSD that has three types of folders. So this folder has one large file. This folder has a mix of photos and videos. And this one has like about 19,000 small files. So what I'm going to do is first, the first test I'm going to do is copy the large files to my Seagate Barracuda and see how much time does it take. And what is the bandwidth? So here I'm copying it. So it started very fast. Apparently the cache is at play here. And then it's stabilized to around 180, 190 megabytes per second, which is very, very good for a mechanical hard drive. And the second test is copying photos and videos. So this is a mix of photos and videos. And all folders are approximately the same size here. So they are approximately six gigabytes. So you see here, the speed is a little bit less than the one large file, which is understandable, but it's still a very good speed. And the third test in the writing tests that I'm doing is copying the small files 
to the Barracuda. And here, as you saw, there was approximately 22,000 files. And here, of course, the bandwidth is much less than the large file and then the photos and videos. So the bandwidth varies here, of course, depending on the file size. But it is still very acceptable. So now I'm going to perform the read test and I'm going to copy these three folders from the Seagate Barracuda to the Samsung SSD drive. So I'm going to delete first the folders from the Samsung SSD drive. The first test I'm going to do is copy the large file. So this is the read speed test. I'm dropping the large file from the Seagate Barracuda to the Samsung SSD drive. And here the speed is stable. So it is approximately between 180 megabytes per second and 190 megabytes per second. And this is a very good sustainable speed. And this is the second read test, which is a mix of photos and videos copied from the Seagate Barracuda to the Samsung SSD one terabyte drive. And as opposed to the writing, the reading speed is here like it is stable and it is approximately around 180 megabytes per second, which is very good. And let's see now for the small files. And the copying of the small files, of course, it is slower than copying photos, videos and the large file. But nonetheless, it is also fast. So at the end, I'm going to say that this drive is really fast. As you saw, when copying large files or when copying files that are medium to large size, like photos and videos, it has a sustainable speed of around 200 megabytes per second, a little bit less. And when reading or writing small files, it also has a good speed. So for a mechanical drive that is 5400 RPMs only, it is very good. It is not noisy, so I can barely hear it uh, spinning in my desktop. And the installation was also uh, very easy. Now what I like less about it is that it didn't came with the screws to install it. And this is something that Seagate should see to include at least the screws to install it. So that was my review of the Seagate Barracuda 4TB internal hard drive, 5400 RPM. I hope you liked this review and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel big time. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.